All right, good evening, everyone. We're here with senior midfielder Christina Kafari. Christina, thanks for taking a few moments to speak with us. No problem. Guys, obviously you had a great season so far. Um, number one seed in the upcoming NE10 tournament. You know, November rolls around, and you're certainly in the mix, not only in the league but nationally. What would have been a key or maybe a couple of keys to the team's success so far? Um, I think one of the main keys to our success is um, our work rate on and off the field. I think our team works really hard in practice and in games. And um, definitely uh, one of the things to our success is how um, versatile all of our players have been this year. Um, everyone's been playing in different positions and moving around all the time. And I think um, it's really advantageous for our team to have all this um, talent being able to work it in different positions and see what works best for us. Okay, very well. Thank you. And just one more thing going forward the next week, you know, will be the any 10 tournament. It's pretty much win or go home for a little while. Um, you know, what's going to be a key going forward um, as, you get, as you get to this point here in the year? Um, I think the key is definitely just to get one game at a time. Don't get too far ahead of ourselves. Um, we got to focus on the NE10. We got to worry about Adelphi. They're a very good team. We can't worry about anyone else that we might be playing. And just if we worry about it one game at a time, hopefully at the end we'll still be there. Okay, very well, Christina. Thank you very much. And good luck tomorrow afternoon versus Adelphi. All right, once again, good evening, everyone. We're here now with senior forward Gianna Dorico. John, it's November, around the corner here, so it's any 10 and NCAA tournament time for you guys. Um, one great aspect of St. Louis women's soccer programs throughout the years has been balanced scoring. Um, always several players in double-figure point production and goals. Is that something you take pride in, in distributing the ball? Uh, yeah, actually we do. We, um, we have a lot of depth in our team, and uh, we have a lot of trust and faith in our own players. So uh, we do take a lot of pride in that. Um, we we know that the more we distribute the ball, the more we work the ball around the field, and uh, the more people get to touch the ball, the better off we are when it comes into the final third and scoring. So um, the fact that we have so many people scoring um, in, throughout the season, it's, it's been really, really great, and, uh, and it's really helped us win all the games that we have thus far. Okay, very well. First step is tomorrow afternoon, 4 o'clock, Adelphi comes to town for an any 10 quarterfinal game. What's going to be a key for you guys to get past Adelphi and to advance? Uh, we're just looking to focus and we're looking to play our game. We know that we need to uh, get the ball on the ground, keep it on the ground, and we need to work it quickly and crisply. So um, we're not undermining them at all. They're a very, very, very good team, um, highly competitive. So we are just going to go into it with the best mentality, and um, we're going to go in strong, and uh, we're going to pull up the W by, um, by just playing well and playing our game. Okay, very well. Once again, thank you, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.